Hello everybody and welcome to a Star Wars Battlefront 2 speculation video. In this video I wanted to discuss what heroes and villains we might be seeing from each era in Star Wars Battlefront 2. The way I see it right now we're going to be getting three heroes per side in each era. So that's six per era and twelve. That's not the right math. Eighteen heroes total. So I'm going to be going over what three heroes we're getting from each side and what their abilities might be. I found this thread on the Battlefront forums which has the prequels so I'm going to be looking at these pictures for them. So we're going to start off first with the first hero I think we're going to be getting, which we've already seen for the prequels, is Yoda. And the abilities that he has here is Force Push, which is probably just like Luke's Force Push in the original. His triangle is his Force Foresight and it says for 10 seconds all, abil all enemies on the map will be outlined for teammates to see. So he's kind of like a map-wide scan pulse, which is pretty helpful. And his last ability is Force Dash. Yoda will lock onto nearby enemies and bounce between them, which is like he does in Episode 3 against all the clone troopers at the temple. So he's a very fast Force-based character, obviously, as you can see here. And his trait says Yoda's Force Wall will increase with kills and hero damage. And I'm not sure, is that something down here? Yes, his trait, I guess, gives him damage reduction for his friends and himself. The next hero I think we're going to see is Obi-Wan Kenobi because we've seen his ship in some concept art from Kamino. So it says here Obi-Wan would have a force push again because Obi-Wan is very force-centric. Uh, force confusion, which says Obi-Wan waves his hand and confuses enemy analog controls. Controls will mess up and randomize. This will last for six seconds. So he will use this ability and the enemies will be confused and all their controls will be jammed and like up would be down, left would be right, and they'd be confused. And his last ability is destructive force. Obi-Wan uses debris from the ground to hurl at enemies. So he might pick up dead bodies or rocks and throw them at the enemies with the force. So again, another very force-centric character that I think we will be seeing. Now this last one I have is pure speculation, but I think the prequels are going to need a blaster hero. So I have chosen Commander Cody. I was thinking Padme, but I think Cody might be more likely because he's a clone, and people love the clones. So his abilities would be a grenade that upgrades with the most kills he gets, like Greedo's grenades. He would have a droid popper, an impact grenade, a thermal detonator, and then a thermal imploder. His next ability would be a barrage, which is like uh, Bosk's micro grenades, what it looks like. And his last one, his rifle turns into a repeating fire rifle for a limited time. So he would be doing a lot of damage to droids and just wrecking their lives, which is awesome. I like Cody a lot. He's one of my favorite clones. I like him more than Rex. Sue me. But <laughs> now on to the villains I think we're going to be getting. Uh, we'll start with Maul, because we've seen him already. It says he will also have Force Push, because we see him use that in Episode 1. Um, he will have a Saber Spin, which as you can see in this little gif down here he's doing. Probably hurt people around him, a good area of effect. And then Saber Swirl, which says Darth Maul will lock onto nearby enemies and throw his lightsaber at each of them having a boomerang effect, so he throws his lightsaber and it hits multiple people, like going around in a circle and coming back to him, which is very cool. He does a lot of area effect damage and clear out people, and he's awesome because he's Darth Maul. So, duh. The next person I think we'll be getting is Count Dooku. People are really hoping for General Grievous, but I think Dooku is more likely just because he's a human and he's easier to animate, I think, but that's just me. Uh, he obviously has his Force Lightning, because that's one of his main things. He has a Force Pull, which is new. Uh, he will pull away infantry blasters, and this will also stun them, allowing time for Dooku to kill them. And he will have a Force Choke, so he's another Force-centric person, and he, of course, he has his red curved hilt lightsaber. I like Count Dooku a lot. I'd love to play him in Battlefront. I think he'd be a very interesting character to learn how to play because of his lightning. And next, the last hero I think we're going to be getting for the bad guys is Jango Fett. Because we've seen in the same concept art with Obi-Wan's fighter is 
the slave one on Kamino. So if Obi Wan's there, Jango Fett would be the one flying the slave the slave one, not Boba Fett. So this says he'd have his razor recoil. It works like Jin's truncheon surge. Jango will perform a melee attack, one hit killing enemies. So he has this little spike thing on his wrist and he probably swing at enemies and slit their throats and murder all of them. His another ability would be his saber dart and the dart will shoot onto one infantry killing them on impact and then the dart will expel Diaxis gas in the area. That's a cool ability. So it kills one person and when that person dies gas goes everywhere and kills people around them. And the triangle ability is the jet mounted rocket so he fires a rocket towards his enemies like Boba Fett, but Boba Fett comes out of his wrist. In episode 2 we see that Jango Fett comes out of his jetpack, so that might be just a different animation, maybe a more powerful missile. And of course he has his jetpack so he can fly. I just dropped my marker. Um, so that's all for these pictures. Moving on to the original trilogy heroes, I think they're going to be exactly the same as the original trilogy heroes and villains we got from launch in the Battlefront 2. So that's Luke, Leia, Han, Palpatine, Vader, and Boba Fett, which I'd be perfectly fine with as long as they're updated, maybe buffed a little more, given more abilities. I mean, I think their abilities are fine. They just maybe need some tweaking. Like, maybe give Palpatine a lightsaber. Maybe don't give Palpatine a lightsaber. Up to you. Uh, I don't really know what could be changed with them. They're all really good heroes. I guess make them look better. I don't know. But that's who I think we're going to be getting, because we've seen Luke and Han already, and we've heard Palpatine, but we haven't seen his actual body. We've seen him in a sentinel form, which is after his death, so we haven't actually seen Palpatine. But now that that is done, we're moving on to the sequel trilogy, which of course we've seen Rey and Kylo Ren. Rey has two confirmed abilities, I think. Um, She can confuse enemies, and then she can mind control enemies which are very similar but I think each would have their own separate uses so I think Rey would also be very force centric as we've seen here in the last Jedi trailer she's using the force a lot and I think she'd have uh, Anakin and Luke's blue lightsaber in the game I think we've seen that in her hand uh, Kylo Ren I think would have force pull force freeze like he does on Rey and Poe and maybe he can hold out his hand and block lightsabers, like, not lightsabers, blaster bolts and hold them in the air. I've been going through this, like, each hero has three abilities, but actually they've stated that every hero is going to have, like, different abilities that you can, like, swap. So, like, how in the old game we had star cards, we can pick different abilities that we want, let's say, Jango Fett to have. So, if we want Jango Fett to not have a saber dart and maybe he has a flamethrower, we can give him a flamethrower instead. So... That's just what these little websites say, that's why I'm going off that, but I know that's not exactly the case. But I think Kylo is going to be a very close range, like, stay away from me or you are going to die kind of character. Uh, next on the resistance, we're going to get Finn, most likely, and I think he'll be a blaster character. Um, probably attack based, maybe defensive abilities that might help his friends. And he'll just shoot people, maybe have stormtrooper abilities, because he is a stormtrooper, and so maybe that can help him out, maybe he can disguise himself. And Captain Phasma for the sequel, or the First Order, I think she'll be a very supportive base character, very, um, like, if you're a stormtrooper, you'd want to be near her, and get as much of her support as you can. Uh, Poe. See, Poe and Hux are very strange, because you don't really see them fighting, but they'd be supportive, like Leia. Poe might have an X-Wing strike, Hux might have a TIE Fighter strike, they might have healing abilities, or maybe pickups they can spawn. So very supportive, not really in the fight, but out, out of the lines of fire. So that is all the heroes I think we will be getting. Maybe more, maybe less, hopefully not less hopefully more, but I'd be fine with those people I named. So if you have any other heroes you want to see, leave them in the comments below. If you have any changes to any of the heroes I talked about, please let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. May the Force be with you.